Welcome back, Wastelanders. This is the Super Duper Mart, the shopping center of the future. We're going to be doing some shopping here ourselves. Doing some, uh, well, some choice selections over here. But before we start, I want to get this robot out so he can help us out with some things. There are some unruly customers in here. Should probably grab this moldy food as well so we can use that for making uh, some more antibiotics when we get back assuming we get some more purified water I was told apparently I didn't need to um, invest into lock picking at all by the way I could just make uh, nothing but the um, locksmith tools if I wanted to Though I might run out of uh, bobby pins pretty quickly doing that. So maybe one or two points is worth it, but uh, I didn't have to invest quite so much. Okay, we're going to have to hop out of the power armor for a second here. Damn, lighting in here looks so good. I always love Super Duper Mart for lighting. You come here about midday and it just looks amazing. Alright. It's not whole, it's not hard. Oh, man. There we go. Already got the safe. Let's get our protectron out. Powering up. Protectron on duty. What do I want to use here? Uh, probably this thing, yeah, with the crappy ammo. Right, so this guy's gonna be, uh, Protect making some ghouls unhappy. Which means, uh, we get some free loot once he takes them out. Let's have a look here, shall we? Good job, dog meat. You were a very good. You were a very good boy there. Taking one for the team. Doing some tanking for me. I wonder how night vision looks in here. It's actually pretty reasonable. I think I could make out loot here a lot better doing this. Probably not going to use it, but just testing it out to see how it looks in interiors and such. In, like, mixed lighting areas, it's not the best. Notice that I can properly crouch there, and um, when I crouch, my character's actual height is uh, less, which is good. I can squeeze through areas that I normally couldn't. However, it does, like, I think... Your height's more realistic with that mod. I'm not sure if that's with Horizon or if I have a different mod that does that. I can't recall. But I like that. I like the idea that... Because normally in Fallout 4 it doesn't, it doesn't work like that. It's just you're just one height, period, and that's pretty much it. Okay, so that's all done... Make sure we salvage these two. We want all the appliance parts we can get because you can get adhesive from appliance parts, so... Even though it's a bit of a pain, we want to do this for sure. Not much in these anymore. I forget which uh, mod does the textures on some of these appliances, but I love how good this chipped paint, this chipped, this, uh, chipped and cracked um, paint, like it's peeling off, looks so good. It looks, I mean, 
Just looks like a really weathered old appliance, you know? Good old baseball bat. Doing some good work for us. I think the ENB that I have really shines in areas where there is a lot of light, but there's also a lot of dark contrast in like interiors like that. It just, it looks so good in my opinion. Make sure we get the magazines and such over here, plus all the beer. That will be our hydration. Gotta go through each of these aisles to make sure we get everything. Very Mentat, those are kind of rare. Of course, we go back here, a whole bunch of ghouls are gonna spawn. At some point. It's also kind of rough because not every Nuka Cola bottle is gonna give you Nuka Cola now. A lot of them are. They're renamed to Dusty Nuka Cola bottle or Dusty Nuka Cherry bottle, whatever. And they have a chance to give you a viable cola, but they don't all give you a viable cola. Which does make sense. It's been 200 years, so there's a decent chance that it might not be usable anymore, you know? That does make sense. But at the same time, um, it makes it a lot harder, too. I think this guy took out those guys, which is great. Thank you, Mr. Robot. Mm, I think Zalnu got rid of a bunch of the uh, vegetables you can find in here. He doesn't like guaranteed free stuff laying around. There usually are some veggies in there, a couple of a couple of corn cobs various other things. I don't disagree with, with it in principle. It's just, uh, I'm just commenting on it. Okay. I think we've thoroughly explored this area now. Never mind, I totally lied. We have a bunch of other stuff to get in here as well. I like the highlighting aspect, though, a lot. I can see these things really easily. They pop out. It's, um... Because a lot of times, stuff kind of gets lost in the clutter... Which, you could say, uh, well, you should just take your time and look through things more carefully and such, and, uh, it's part of the game, you know, that you have to kind of dig through the ruins and scavenge and such. And I agree with that. I think Zaunu agrees with that, too. Most people would. But it can get a bit visually exhausting trying to make sense out of these areas that just have so much stuff in them, you know? There's just so much visual clutter in some of these areas especially whenever you have these really really complex mods that have even the textures are much more um detailed and for your eyes to be able to take in everything and see everything can be quite challenging
Come on in. Come right on in. You can join the party, sure. Is everything? Everything here? I think so. Get a fusion core in here as well. Something down there? No, it's just lighting. Okay, we're gonna piss off a whole bunch of ghouls back here. Um, this is on 45 rounds currently. I guess I should swap it over to 38 rounds because I don't have any 45s anymore. Survival skills, very nice. Uh, more crusher enemies, all right. Sure, we'll do a weapon kit and go back to, we have, well, we have some. I can at least set this thing on fire back here, this uh, oil back here on fire. Make these ghouls spawn out. Got everything over here, yeah. I think so. Alright buddy, we're gonna spawn some ghouls in. Hope you're ready to fight. Oop. There they go. Attention, citizens. You may now resume your normal activities. Protect and serve. Good job, man. I'm gonna kill you and murder you for parts later on, but, you know, good job. All the same. Well done. You will serve me until I no longer need you, and then I will scrap you for parts. Maybe take damage there. I did not mean to scrap that ghoul. I'm going to do that a whole bunch. They should really, I think, make the scrap button be like R or something. Something different for ghouls. I, I'm Like, I'm pretty sure he can do that. Seems like he can switch him up if need be. Uh, because if we're going to be taking damage to scrap ghouls, I don't think it's... Most people are not going to want to do that. They're just going to want to loot them instead. So it should be like the alternate button as opposed to the default button. Just my opinion there, in terms of gameplay. I'll end up cursing myself for accidentally hitting the scrap ghoul button when I don't mean to. Right there, I almost hit it, too. This chunk is just lying around. Got some titanium off of that guy. Oh, my God. Settle down there, piece of arm or whatever you are. Having to crouch every time is, like, a real pain in the butt. Dog meat. No, dang it. And the fact that it's like instant. Hold. No, don't hold. I'm just trying to loot. I'm struggling real bad to loot. Psst. Let's go. There we go. Ooh, fancy, fancy. I like your outfit. I think I'm going to take it. That is fancy indeed. Damn it. 
Dang it. It's so easy to hit dog meat on accident sometimes. The hitboxes are so weird. They really are. I set my FOV back to 100, right? Yeah, we're good. Just making sure. Okay, that just leaves the very back area over here with the fusion core and a couple more ghouls. In the back office, too. I love it when they just crawl in and let you kill them. Yeah, this could be sped up quite a bit. That should be sped up quite a bit. Whoa, dog meat. Chill. Anything else here? Got all of that, I think. A back office here. Stealth manual, that's cool. Sorry, buddy, I can't take you out. You're stuck in there. Okay, it should be it over here. Just the fusion core and the garage area. We can say goodbye to this place. Makes two full cores, and we are still... We're going real slow on this core, I'll tell you. We are really... We just don't burn hardly any fusion core. As long as we don't use any action points, we just don't really burn anything off. It, it almost seems like it's uh, a bit slower burning than it was last time. I'm not sure if that's intended or not. Don't know. I didn't see any documented changes about Fusion Core stuff, but I didn't, I, I don't, didn't search that well for it either. I, can, I guess I can do a Control F and see if I can find anything in the patch notes for 194. I'm not necessarily saying it should be changed. I'm a master of not using Fusion Core power because I just don't sprint and I just walk everywhere, which is not a great. I mean, it's not great. I don't know. Maybe Zaw changed it to be where you just don't burn any access at all. Yeah, maybe you just don't burn any at all unless you... Uh, are using action points. I mean, you definitely burn some, even just moving around, but it's nowhere near as excessive. Bomber jacket. That's fancy. You guys don't have any guns laying around? Doesn't look like it. They usually have laser muskets beside them, but I guess not anymore. Okay, well, whatever. 
Not a big deal. Come on, open the door. That low screen takes so long. Okay, more exploration through this area. Now I brought some nice guns over here. It's daytime. I think we can probably get away with taking out the guy up in the top of here. The uh, people up here. I think we'll be alright. Just in case, though. Put that on seven, just in case I need it. So far, we're hidden. Oh, I want to switch this probably to higher caliber rounds, yeah? Definitely, uh, 5.56. Five, okay. Got any nades? Doesn't look like it. Got Molotov. One Molotov. Could be nice. I could toss it in there and do some good damage to him. Brought a pistol to a light machine gun fight, my friend. Sucks for you. Nice stuff here. Hey, survival guide. Nice. All this stuff can be scrapped. Decent. A decent stuff here. Okay. We did take some damage there, but. I'd say I'm worth it. Detecting predators tracking your position. They must have upgraded my threat level or something whenever I took that guy out. Can probably get some sniping done from over here with our hunting rifle. Though we are kind of staring into the sun. That's the guy in power armor over there with the real big gun. I don't know if I can get any kind of... Uh a bead on them from here. Maybe. If they go over through here, maybe. I wonder if I could drop a bomb on a uh, mine on top of them from on top of there. It'd be worth a shot. There's some stuff over here I gotta get still though.
Leadership guide, nice. Speaking of mines. I can't make it over there from here. It's too far of a jump. At least I don't think I can. I can try. Nah. Too far. I guess it doesn't matter that much that we can go up this way. What do I want to use here? Probably this thing. Got this damn ghoul. Okay, let's do some antibiotics. Hopefully just one. Ew, three. You know, as I had an infection. Kind of blends in down there. Alright, and then uh first aid. I've got this thing. Maybe this thing would be the, uh, the answer, honestly. It does more damage, I think. right over around there. I'd like to get up on top of here and see if I can just drop a mining on him. Hey! Shit. You're mine now, rookie! Let go! Well, if he shoots the fat man on dog meat, at least it won't be on me. Dog meat will survive it. Let go! Just getting warmed up over here! Ooh, turret. They are right below me, though. Didn't get to him. Hell is that turret? Fire in the hole. Shit. <clears throat> Let's do this, metal man. That did that's all it did for as far as damage goes. Holy crap, that thing is tough. Okay, he didn't shoot his fat man, that's good. Oh, jeez.
I don't think they. I don't think he necessarily automatically spawns with a fat man on uh, in Horizon. I think he's. I think that's a bit more random. Probably for the same reason. I know he does have a fat man. Just didn't use it. Maybe he he used his one shot previously. Did shoot somebody with the fat man an episode or two ago. Can we? Okay, we good? Can I not get through this? Apparently not. There we go. Had to use the laser weapon on that. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. Just a bit stressful. That's all. I think if you engage him in close combat like that, he won't use the fat man, or he just may not have had the ammo for it. He might only have one shot that he can shoot with it, and then that's it. Here's that back area. I got. I gotta fix this fighting issue. This texture fighting issue. Okay. This guy, he's got a cone on his head. That's hilarious. A good sniping spot. If they'd actually show themselves. You gonna come up here and take me out, buddy? Get off of me. Not quite a gladiator, were you? Come on. Oof. 
They are not happy with me. No sign of him now. You know a lot of people are fans of the uh, see-through scopes mod. And they often ask me why I don't use it. And it's mostly, well, it's partially laziness, I'm going to be entirely honest there, but um, it's also because I've used quite a few scoped weapons, quite a few scoped rifles in real life, um, done a good bit of shooting, and they don't work like that. Um, it's actually rather difficult to line up a a shot and see through a scope properly like to make it work properly is rather a pain in the butt more so than you might think So while well, logically, if you've not really done any shooting before, you might think, well, why can't we just see through it? Well, because it actually doesn't work that way, IRL. It's quite hard to see through a scope. Especially while you're moving or something, it's very, very hard. Taking a step back here and doing a bit further ranged sniping, I think. I, I whiffed that one. Oh, I whiffed that pretty bad. Ooh. It's a nasty one. Man, the uh, barbed wire on this bat and the blood, like, it really looks gory. It looks good. It just, it really looks like we've got some blood and guts and brains plastered on there, you know? Really? You had, like, one health left? I believe I took his... No, I didn't. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I took his leg off. Oops, 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 no. Didn't mean to harvest. Did again. 
There's a bit of uh, FPS loss in this town for sure. And I mean, it's not like I, you know, I've got a 4090. It's not, it's not like I'm not throwing every bit of hardware I can at it. I doubt my computer is even breaking even a moderate sweat running the game right now. It's more just the engine is just so, it's just so Bethesda, you know? Huh, I can get in here, huh? Apparently so. It was not bastard. Sweet. He was leaving on a jet plane. That's what it was. Forty-five ammo. It's kind of nice. Okay. Uh oh. So I, so I thought I was seeing some loot there, and you too. Oh, bunch of stuff. Oh, was there a key there? I don't know. We got a level up too. I had plans for that level up. Right, power armor repairs. Yeah, considering that our power armor is uh, in tatters right now, and, and upgrades probably. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be a priority, I think. See if we can finish some sniping here before we lose all the light. Oh crap, I missed that, didn't I? I could probably snipe from here. This is probably fine. Hmm. Not a very good line of sight. Let's find somewhere else. No! Damn you, Horizon Mine. I thought it was going to be a, a more crazy explosive mine or something, and there, there's money. Wait there. No! Shit! Dog meat! God damn it! <laughs> I told him to wait there, too. Well, we have no armor left at all now, and we're on fire. Do we have a... We Surely we have dirty water around here, right? Uh... Where's it under, though? Can we access it from here? I know I've picked up dirty water. It's ingredients, right? Dirty water? Yeah, here. Okay, there we go. Are we good? Yes, we have extinguished ourselves. Dang it! Ah, uh, I got stuck in the hey, dialogue. Come on. And I couldn't run away fast enough. Dang it, dog meat. That was not a good move. You ran right in front of me as I was trying to disarm the mine. And I couldn't move. Damn it, I hit dog meat instead. Man, our armor has taken a severe beating. Is there one more? I can't do it. Not enough skill. Maybe got some scraps for once. You guys done? This must be what's been trying to attack me for like 10 years. Couldn't get to me. They finally got me. The dogs finally tracked me down. I can never tell if it's a dog 
track it like attacking me or if it's just dog meat running around you know I can never because the this it sounds the same so I, I never know who it is is it just dog meat being dog meat or is it something trying to attack me should I stop looting or should I just continue okay we are losing the light now I wanted to go in over here yeah and get this place looted Okay, there's still some pre pure money here. I do want those. Okay, Cora Vega. Huh, there's no way we're going to go in there today, but we can try to finish cleaning it off at the very least. I can still see silhouettes of people reasonably... With this being a bit darker. I can also use night vision. Is it time? Ooh, night vision time, guys. It's time for the new mod. You have to let, let me know what you think about this in the comments. Is this a reasonable alternative? Is it too tactically advanced or advantaged to use this? I don't know. I think it's reasonable to assume my power armor would have night vision on it. And it's a way for you to be able to actually see. Because I can see. But can you see? <sighs> Didn't get him, huh? That was a good shot. I thought that was a good shot too, but I guess not. There we go, got him that time. Still a bit difficult to see him though. There we go, got him. I've only got so much ammo for this thing though. I could switch to 556, five, I suppose. Already having a tough time killing them, though. Unless I get headshots. Bye-bye.
That's who's upset with us is that guy up there. It's a long shot, though. Done pretty good, though. Given the amount of bullets we've expended and stuff. Gotten it pretty much cleared off. I'm going to check the left side over here. There might be a couple more we didn't see on this side. In fact, I'm pretty sure there are. There's one right there. He's almost dead. Maybe this thing. Sir, you brought a shotgun to a very long-ranged fight. No luck. Somebody, like, right below us over here. Oh, man. Please don't be barrels again. Nothing there now. Get a flamer. Ah, ouch, on fire, more dirty water. Sometime today, did, did being next to dog meat trigger it again or something? What's going on here? Why am I still on fire? We good? Yeah, okay, pretty sure we're good now. Ow! Okay, we we gotta do Wilson, but I can't call him in combat, so we gotta get out of here. We gotta back up. Yeah, I like this mod a lot. I think it's pretty reasonable for the times when I'm out here at night. Um, I don't know. It definitely is a bit of a tactical advantage, I'm not going to lie. But at the same time, you guys can see, you know... Seems okay to me. Yeah, Ruined Flamer. Regular old flamer, not the uh, Horizon version. Hey, a sledgehammer. Wow, that's a big upgrade from the baseball bat. Well, maybe not, actually. But it will be once I do some upgrades on the sledgehammer itself. It'll be better, I think. We're getting pretty low on... Uh... Ooh, gas mask. Okay, I'll uh, keep that around, probably. We're getting low on ammo and such, and I ought to probably go back and sort stuff and maybe craft some more ammo. Also, our armor... Our armor has seen better days, guys. Um, pretty much we're just using a frame at this point, which is fine. Frame is still really good. 
Got some food though, which is nice. Yeah, I think we've pushed this about as far as we should really go. <laughs> Our helmet still works. That's what matters, right? I really want to get up here and loot the stuff that we've, uh, you know, killed though, because if I don't, there's a chance it might despawn. And that would just be a tragedy. That's my main concern. All those nice raiders we killed, if they all went away. I definitely don't want to go into Corvega and do that just yet. That would likely be a bit much. I'm really surprised I could do that, but I'm not going to complain either. Here you are. Oh, of course he moved. The second I get in position, he moved. Darn it. Okay, well, look. I can at least go over here and get this stuff, right? Everybody over here is dead. Oof. Rest in peace. Got a bunch of rads there. Not much for it. I really want to get up on top of there, though, and look around. Definitely some frame rate stuff going on there. With this on, though. Not sure if it's just Lexington in general after Horizon updates. Or if it's, um... I don't know. I'm not sure. You probably won't even notice it on your video. I'm just... I'm so used to 144 FPS now that if I drop below that, I... I can feel it. The wide FOV probably isn't helping either. The 100 FOV the game is not designed for that. But I am running a 4090, you know? It's kind of like, well... Ought to be able to just kind of brute force it, but... Then again, maybe not. The game engine can only do what the game engine can do, you know? There were more corpses here, but I guess they all came down to fight me. Okay, let's go over here and finish up this area. Make sure we get our loot over here. Then we'll be on our way back. What the hell was that? What the fuck was that? It was your buddy getting shot. What the? Come on out. Nah, it's nothing. I'll make it nice and quick. You can trust me. When you turn up, you're dead. Gotcha. Huh. Why not? This is bullshit. Show your face. Come on. Definitely Get some you FPS are, you chugging. Had to play hero, huh? <sighs> I don't do it. It's called shooting straight, rookie.
There is an option to have this drain fusion core. I might turn that on too. I'm just not sure how severe it is and if it's balanced at all for Horizon. It might even just not work or break the game. I really don't know. I keep forgetting I have that magnum I can use. One more guy around here somewhere. Definitely should try to heal a bit if I can. Use our last... We have like one right away unit. Okay. It's not going to do much, but sure. Have to make more when we get back. Definitely have to do some power armor upgrades when we get back because it is beat to hell now. Dog meat, but you not make so much noise. There's still a slight blur effect on the outside of the screen, I think, from this mod, which is kind of annoying to me, but eh, it's whatever. I got the blur removal patch, but uh, it's still just slightly there, I think. Motherfucker! I think that tiny little gun from all that ways away is going to do anything to me. Ain't personal. Just you or me. Okay, that actually... Oh, God. Didn't do a lot, but damn. There we go. We're finally clear, I think. Okay. About time. Look, I can still see pretty well out here without this on. I don't know. Seems okay to me. It definitely causes some FPS issues, though. No, I think that's just Corvega in general. I think it's just kind of laggy here now because I'm not using any mods. We got to get the um, the PRP mod patched up for Horizon 194. Whoever does that, the previs bin thing. I know Zoss said he did a lot of work trying to make sure that he repaired all of that, but I think it still probably could use some work. Well, our, our helmet is still okay. <laughs> yeah, our armor is pretty shot, though. We're definitely going back after this. Excellent. 
engineering and salvaging. Okay. This guy has some good stuff. May have looted other people, though. That might be why he has so much. He's running around looting all his buddies. Taking their gear after I killed him. Okay, let's go through here, make sure we've gotten everything of note, and we'll call it a day. Having cleared out the outside of Corvega, and we gotta repair our power armor. I have one T-51 piece I can just swap in as opposed to repairing, I think. Just making sure I didn't leave any bodies on the stairs here anywhere. I don't think I did. I think we're good. Just would hate to leave any loot behind, you know? I think we're good here. Let's go to the other side. Make sure we haven't left anything over here. I don't think we have. I think we're good. Yeah, let me run over here real quick and make sure I haven't left anything on that side. Then we'll be on our way. Bodies over here. There's one over here. Yeah, we did miss one. Okay. I thought I might have missed one or two. Okay. I would say we're good, guys. We got it all pretty much anyway. Close enough. All right. It is late. We are going to head back and repair the power armor. Hello, bloatfly. Random bloatfly. Not sure what the hell you're doing here. But see ya. Gotta take stock on our ammo situation. Because we're running low. See what we can do about that. But yeah, we're gonna go back and repair and rest and such. I think I'll do that off screen. Running back and everything and repair. Well, you know, do what I can to repair. Not sure if I can actually repair or not. Um, I do have a level up, so... I'll probably have to... I don't know. I can't repair a T-51 just yet. It's going to take a while before I can do that. Right? Because I have to invest two points into Blacksmith here to do that. It's going to be kind of rough. How close are we to leveling again? We're about halfway. So not too bad. We're getting there. Anyways, I'll figure that out when I get back. So thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you next time.